So you just got back from Vegas. I heard you played my slot machine. I did, yes. Did you do well or did you? Absolutely not. Oh, no. <laughs> Paid me out nothing. Oh, how much did you lose? Could I, I'll pay you back. W really? Well, no, don't make something up now. Uh, no, I think I put, up in, I put about $50 in. Uh-huh. And yeah, it just went like that. Yeah, you know to put more than that. I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, it's very oh. complicated. There's lights, flashing lights, uh, it's just too No, much. it's not complicated, it's entertaining. I entertain you the entire you time. Um, there's a beautiful picture of you. You were in Mexico, right? Yeah, Look yeah. at this picture and uh, of, uh, let's look at how beautiful all of that is. Acapulco. That is gorgeous. Yeah, really, that's Acapulco. Beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful, and then here's another picture that you are uh, scared of mosquitoes <laughs> and you're only covering your bottom half. <laughs> Well, they, I was so bitten to hell, I don't know why, but they just went for my lower half. <laughs> and uh, I, so I, um, <laughs> they, just, they just liked my legs. And my top half was fine, but the bottom half was just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> and then what's going on, there's another photo that I want to show, and I just, yeah. I mean, I don't really care what's going on. I just want to show it. <laughs> well, I knew I was coming back on, and I knew you, you know. I have to show those I photos. I had something to show you. Yes. You're having a little espresso, and you're, espresso. it looks like you're waking up, and you're, oh, what totally am I going to Totally natural. Yeah, you know, totally. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> just happened to be across from you. Um, so you, uh, you know Prince Charles, right? I do, yeah. I've been an ambassador for his charity for 10 years. He has a charity called the Prince's Trust and helps young disadvantaged uh, youths in the UK and really great, great charity. That's fantastic. So you'll go to the wedding probably? I probably won't be going to the wedding. I mean, I'd love to go to the wedding, but uh, You no. think you'll get, you won't get invited? I don't think so, really? no. I'll offer to sing, maybe, I don't know, but I, yeah. don't, I think they can do better than that. Oh, I don't know. Well, if you go, I'll be your date. Oh, okay. Okay. Totally. Yeah, maybe okay. I can do that. I'll sell that as a yeah. way to get a ticket. That's a great idea. <laughs> a ticket, an uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a ticket. <laughs> it's a ticket. It's be the you biggest to, show on earth. You have to pay. Yeah, it is going to be. Right. Um, and there's a picture of you and Mick Jagger, and you, you were just in his video? Yeah, I just did his video. It was, uh, uh, yeah, he, and uh, this is us in Barcelona after I blagged some tickets to the Rolling Stones concert, which was amazing. But the best bit was, after the video, I didn't meet him when he did the video, but he uh, sent me a text message, and the text message actually was completely without punctuation. So it just was one long line and it took me about five times to attempt to actually understand what he'd said to me in the, in the text message. So really? Fun. Yeah, I've kept it. No commas, no periods, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing Just at all. nonstop. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, wow. Was, uh, good on you, mate. Tell him to text me. All right, <laughs> I can do that. All right. Yeah. Then I can, because I, I don't use punctuation either, so he, oh, he and I could, great. I mean, <laughs> I do occasionally, it's not important, but I like the dot, dot, dot. I well, like the third text I got from him, I was, Fully, you know, I was I was in the the Jagger brain then. So yeah. Did, yeah. But the so, first time it was a bit much. The first time. Um, all right. Let's talk about the show, which is fantastic. It's The Alienist, and uh, it is yeah. uh, set in uh, what time period? 1896, New York City, the Lower East Side, which was a melting pot of cultures and races, and uh, it was the Gilded Age of New York City. So it was a very beautiful, but also a very dark and sinister uh, place to be. And how many extras are there on that? Oh, like hundreds, absolutely hundreds. Uh, we built, basically we built the Lower East Side New York City to scale some of the buildings um, in the back lot in uh, Budapest. Um, it, was, it was very, very special and it, it looks, it looks wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, aesthetically, it really will like sort of, it's a feast. Feast for the eyes. Yes, it is. It's very impressive. It's called The Alienist. It premieres January 22nd at 9 on TNT.